In this video we're going to look at conic sections. A cone uh, in this case is going to be what we might consider as two cones, one opening down and one opening up and connected there at the, at the vertex of the cones. A uh, section is what you get when you intersect a plane with uh, any three-dimensional object, so a conic section is the intersection of a plane with a, a cone. And you'll notice that when this plane is perpendicular to the axis of rotation that we're getting circles. The circles get bigger as we move up above the vertex. When we get right to the vertex then we really just get a point. As we move below that then the circles start to get larger again. Okay. If we rotate this thing, let's see if I can figure out how to rotate it. If we rotate the plane, if we rotate it a little bit, then the thing that we're going to get here, instead of circles, we're going to get uh, ellipses. So there you see the ellipse that we're getting as we slide down. Those ellipses get smaller until they become uh, a point and then there ellipses on that other side. Okay, those are ellipses, circles and ellipses. If we get this uh, position just exactly right so that uh, I think the rotation is about 30 degrees. Let me try that and see. No, it's going to be more than that. Um, we get this rotated just right so that the plane is is parallel to the uh, axis of rotation. I'm, I'm parallel to the edge. So this plane is, uh, I'm trying to make it parallel to the edge of that cone, then uh, we're getting something that's a, a parabola. Let me slide that around so you can kind of see it. There's the intersection ends up being a parabola. So we Oops, I didn't get it tilted quite far enough. <laughs> so I really wasn't getting problems. Sorry, you guys. Uh, it's going to have to be so that that is exactly parallel. Let me slide this down just a little bit so that I'm right at the vertex, and then we can kind of get it parallel. If I can get that as close to being at the vertex as possible, then uh, I want to get this rotated just right so that this just barely touches that edge. Okay, at that point we're going to get a straight line. Okay, the straight line comes from touching that top part of the cone and then coming down and touching the bottom part of the cone. Now, if that straight line get slid away, then we start getting these parabolas. Okay, do you see the parabola there? So we pull it out, there's parabola all along there, come along, then a, an opening down parabola down there at the, on the bottom cone, opening up parabola and opening down parabola. That happens when this plane is parallel to one of the edges. If we uh, rotate a little bit more so that we're cutting through both edges, let me reposition here so you can see this maybe a little better, then we get a hyperbola. That, uh, oops, grab the other polar. At one point, when we get right there, then the intersection should be two straight lines. Straight line coming down this way and a straight line coming down this way. We slide off from that vertex at all and we get two parabolas. Uh, um, two parabolas. We get a hyperbola, which is two, uh, two U-shaped things. Okay, so we got straight lines, we got points, We've got uh, circles, we've got ellipses, and we've got hyperbolas. That's it.